Today I will show you a trick which you can use to replace your conditional formatting with your custom formatting. Let's see some examples. In this first table, can you guess what formatting I have used here? This is custom formatting. In this table, this is based on conditional formatting. And what about this table? Any idea? This is custom formatting. Now, why would you use custom formatting instead of conditional formatting? Let me tell you the reasons. Number one is custom formatting is much faster than conditional formatting. I tried it by myself on a very big data. And number two is custom formatting is very easy to set up even if you have some thresholds to implement in your data. So let's jump in and see uh, what are the beautiful custom formatting techniques that we have in Excel. We will see four smart ways of doing custom formatting. In this video, I will cover two ways of doing it. This one having the up and down arrows in red and green color and this one having the percentage values with the arrows keys and color coding. In the next video, I will cover the rest two scenarios, how to use any symbols of your choice and how you can add thresholds means you won't show arrows for all your numbers but only for those which are above or below your threshold value. All of these four cases uses custom formatting which is right mouse click, go to format cells and custom and we will use this window. It is not about conditional formatting which you get from here on the excel ribbon. Custom formatting may look difficult to you, but this is very simple and easy to set up than conditional formatting. For example, if you see here in the threshold part, look at the formula bar. It is very simple. And to get this same result using conditional formatting, your formula will go complex. So custom formatting is much easier. Don't be scared of these numbers here. I was also not using it for a long time in Excel, but once I understood these symbols, they are easy and powerful. So this reminds me a quote that until we do not try anything, it looks difficult. So in today's video, we will try custom formatting. The only thing you need to know is the logic behind custom formatting. And once you get it, you will find lots of opportunities to improve on your reports and presentations. So let's see how it works. If you watch out these formatting, you will find that the arguments are separated by semicolon. So custom formatting always have a semicolon separator. The first argument is how positive numbers should be formatted, then semicolon Second argument is how negative numbers should be formatted. Semicolon. The third one is how zeros should be formatted. Semicolon. The last one is how text should be formatted. This hashtag sign that you see here is nothing but the placeholder for numbers. The only difference is that the hashtag sign here is a variable placeholder and zero is a fixed placeholder. So as of now, just think of this as a placeholder for any number. Now let's clear our basics first. Let's format this single cell. It is blank as of now. Right mouse click, format cells, custom. Now the first argument was how my positive numbers should be formatted. So if I put any positive number in this cell, I want to format it with right here positive in double quotes and give a space also then hashtag semicolon the second argument is for negative numbers so if i put negative number in this cell then format it with negative space in double quotes and then hashtag semicolon the third argument was for zero. So if I put a zero number in this cell, format it with zero in double quotes. And the last argument is for text. So if I put any text value in this cell, format it with say Excel in double quotes. 
click OK and now let's check this out. If I write only 5, it shows positive 5. If I write minus 5, it shows negative 5. If I put 0, it shows 0. And if I write any text here, it shows Excel. Notice that in formula bar, the values of the cell is what you are writing in the cell. And if you see the cell, it is formatted. If you want to actually hide the zeros in your report, then press Ctrl 1. This is the shortcut key to get the custom formatting window. Just delete this text so that this argument is empty. Click OK. So now you see the cell value is 0. Watch out the formula bar. But here you don't see it because we formatted our zeros. So that's how you can hide your zeros in your report. These are the basics of custom formatting. Now the other thing here is you can have more arguments in there. For example, instead of text here, you can add colors or symbols. Let's work on our report now. I have this draft version where we will implement our custom formatting. In our first report, we had up and down arrows with green and red color. So arrows are symbols. To get them, select any cell here. Go to insert symbols. From here, select Arial. And in second drop down, select geometric shapes. Click on the ones you want to use. I want up arrow, insert. And I also want down arrow, insert, close. We will use these arrows for our custom formatting. First thing I need here is the numbers of my deviation. So subtract our actual sale with target sale to get the difference. You will get some positive numbers and some negative numbers here. Now we want to use symbols instead of these numbers. So copy your symbols, select all these cells, press Ctrl 1, go to custom, paste your symbols. Do you remember what was our first argument? It was positive numbers. So we need this up arrow for positive numbers, semicolon, and second argument was for negative numbers for which we need down arrow. You can also use other symbols here. Just copy paste your symbols. Now we also want to add the color to our symbol. So we have to write the color in square brackets. Let me write here green for positive and red in square bracket for negative. Let's also add zero argument, semicolon and put nothing here. Click OK. Now we get the red and green arrows and if our actual sale is equal to target sale, the difference is zero and this will show nothing here. If you don't like these colors, we can change it. I will show you in the next video on how to do it when we will cover the third and fourth scenario of custom formatting. Today we are fine with these colors and our first report is ready. Let's move on to the second report. Here we need percentage and the deviation. So first of all to get the percentage, I will do actual divided by target sale minus 1 press enter, drag your formula down, select your number format to percentage. Now we will format the color of these percentage and will also add the symbols. So copy your symbols again, select these cells, press Ctrl 1, go to custom. It already shows you the percentage format which is fine. So our first argument is positive values. We will again go with green color in square bracket here. I want to show the percentage. So I won't delete this. 0% is fine. 
and I also want arrows here. So paste your symbols, control V. We need only up arrow for positive number. Semicolon. Now we will format our negative numbers. So write red in a square bracket, put minus 0% and paste your symbols. We need down arrow this time for negative numbers and then semicolon. Put nothing because for zeros we don't want to show anything. Click OK and let's see how it looks. Beautiful. So we have covered the two ways of doing custom formatting. I will cover the third and fourth method in the next video. You can download the workbook from the description to practice whatever you have learned about custom formatting so far. I hope that you learned something new about custom formatting in Excel. If you are new to this channel, welcome and don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave. And I'll see you in the next video for more Excel tips and tricks. Thank you so much and happy learning.